Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here with Brian Sanchez. How you doing, Brian? Doing good, Steve. Great to see you again. You always say something like that, but that's it. I'm just great to see me. I mean, you is that all you got? one fine brother. All right. I'll take it. Okay. So, um, you know, if you watch the channel, if you've seen Brian and I talk, we're both on TRT, yeah. testosterone replacement therapy, both big believers in it. Neither one doctors, but we've talked so much about TRT. And one thing we've talked about is getting your blood work done and monitoring your blood work on TRT. And you told me something before we got on camera here that I didn't experience. I didn't know. And maybe I'll try because some of the blood work that you get done when your physician is or your healthcare practitioner is monitoring you is hemoglobin hematocrit, um, PSA, um, and a, a one for me is iron, ferritin, a whole iron blood panel because I was giving blood and I did it about four times over a four-month period and each time I did it, I cut my iron in half and my, I, my ferritin was in the tank. It was seven and I'm like, Oh, I got to take a nice nap every afternoon at about two. I'm going, what is going on? I mean, I enjoy the nap and everything, but uh, that's why. So there's certain things, but we're going to talk about something that you brought up, the the thickening of the blood, which occurs, and Brian and I, are we live at about 5,000 feet, so that can also affect it. But those are uh, tests or, or blood work that you want to monitor. Most doctors will have you monitor. And there's so many different opinions. Talk to your clinic. If you guys are interested, uh, you can uh, check the link or the phone number for Royal Medical that's going to be in, in um, the description here. And you get, after your first month, you get $45 off. So if you use the promo code VITALITY1, it's a great deal. But you might want to talk to some other clinics. You might want to talk to your general practitioner also. But that's one place that will definitely talk to you about this and get your testosterone up if it's not in an ideal range. So, Brian, you're getting some of this blood work done. And tell me what happened. This is amazing. So, I, I was taking some pretty good levels of testosterone in the beginning of my treatment as my body was starting to change and things of this nature. Nothing that was outrageous, but it was like 12 times the amount that Steve took. I'm kidding, that's a joke, it wasn't 12 times. But it was it was uh, quite a bit more. Anyways, a part of one of the things we're looking at is whether or not the testosterone um, thickens your blood a little bit. And it, it, it can get slightly elevated. And the doctors actually expect it when you're on testosterone mm -hmm. treatment. And they actually look at that and pay attention to it. And, and Stephen already explained the big words as to what they're looking at and the names of it. Um, and mine got slightly elevated. So what I did initially was I started doing um, blood donations and through, through a company here locally. And they screen everything out. They make sure that, that you have documented that you're a TRT patient. You're doing it for that purpose so that the blood gets to the right people because you have higher levels of TRT and it doesn't go to the wrong person when they start giving it out. But with that, I wanted, I wanted it to come down a little bit quicker. Uh, I get slightly impatient. Well, I'm not going to go get blood thinners because I, I don't think I'm going to need it. But I just happened to bounce this idea of, of the blood drawing and getting my blood donations done. I was talking to my... Um, one of my um, uh, massage therapists, actually, and she's into energy healing and things. Like a real wonderful person. Anyways, she she's really into natural ways of healing, and I had just mentioned. I said, "Yeah, it's coming down. My blood's blood's coming down, and the 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 uh, testosterone. I, I reduced my testosterone levels based on blood work, and my blood is starting to thin back out. And I was pretty excited about that. And she goes, "Well, you know, an easier way to do that." And I'm like, no, I don't, because I was doing the uh, the blood donation. She goes, cayenne pepper. Well, you know, I think I know what I'm doing half the time. And I'm like, cayenne pepper, get out of here. 
And she goes, no, she's dead serious. She goes, you don't know the benefits of cayenne pepper. And of course, my ego's like, boink. <laughs> As a trainer, I should know, right? And I said, no, I do not know the benefits. She says, trust me. This is the brand you're going to get. This is what you're going to do. This is how much you need to take. Just try it. Well, I'm thinking cayenne pepper is not going to hurt me. I'm going to give it a whiz. And I love hot peppers anyways. A caution to you that that um, um, are sensitive to hot peppers, you may want to get the cayenne pepper caplets or capsules initially. Uh, I'm raw dogging it. I go in and I take the scoop of cayenne pepper and I throw it with my supplements in the morning and I just suck it down. So it took about three months of cayenne pepper and my... Cholesterol is even better, and I'm on TRT. It already got better because of the TRT, and it's now even better now that I'm using cayenne. My blood sugars are solid with cayenne in me, but more importantly, it thinned out my blood even more, not to a bad level, to a normal level that I was shocked. I was expecting like a, you know, a six month use of cayenne pepper and maybe I'll see it go down a tick or two. And it dropped a significant amount to put me right into the normal ranges. And I, now this is after being with Royal Medical and having a reduced amount of testosterone for a measured period of time. And uh, the blood draws were helping, but it wasn't coming down quickly. <laughs> Once I incorporate cayenne pepper into my regimen and I take a full teaspoon, so it's probably more like two teaspoons full um, every single day. But you got to be ready for this. If you're using the powders like I'm using, the ground cayenne pepper, the fresh stuff, and it's an organic pepper that I use, um, it's hot. I'm not going to say it's not. And I love peppers. The hottest pepper I eat is generally a habanero. I don't like them necessarily that much hotter than that. Um, and I, so I can take a little bit of heat so I can handle this, but oh my goodness, it, it will, it will light you up a little bit. So start out slowly. Don't be like me and go in for the full amount right off. I recommend balancing it out over a couple of weeks and working your way up to a good teaspoon to two teaspoons a day added to your stuff. And you may add more or less. Remember, I'm a bigger guy. Um, and so I, I put a little more of it, everything into it because of my body size. Now in my research, because then I'm like, oh, this really does work. What I found very interesting is the, the research I'm doing on cayenne pepper. It talks about how cayenne through, um, the use of the plant compounds can protect cells, which I thought, wow, that's crazy. It does thin out blood, which I thought that's fantastic. So why would you want to be on an aspirin reg regimen? Talk to your doctors. Um, protects heart health when it comes to blood chemistry, blood lipids, and things like this. Um, mine, it didn't do a crazy drop because mine are pretty good because of the testosterone uh, treatments. I think that helps a lot. But it's yeah, so big. your blood work improved just from being on TRT. Yeah, it's way better. And, but it, it, it brought it down just a hair a little more. And I'm like, wow, this cayenne pepper really works. Um, it helps your digestion. Trust me, when you take a scoop of this in the morning, you need a good 30 minutes before you go anywhere. Your digestion's going to work. Um, and it, it helps in weight loss That is the suggestion too. My guess is the thermogenic effect because it really warms your whole body up when you introduce this. Um, it's going to change colors when you go to the restroom because it's a big red powder if you're using it that way. So don't get scared. I mean, things, things are going to change. You, you might feel some hot sensations. Um, so just expect that with it. But I am, this is another product. I I wasn't, I was as excited to see the improvement in my blood levels of thickness and my lipids just with the use of cayenne pepper. TRT cleaned it all up. Cayenne pepper, in my opinion, made it better, and I was excited about that, Steve. 
Oh, it's something else. I didn't know this. Let Steve explain this. He told me that, well, yeah, cayenne's and everything. Steve, explain that, please. Yeah, it's. It, I don't know if it's cayenne pepper, but it's pepper. Different kinds of pepper are in a lot of these supplements because it, it, they put them in these different supplements to, to help the supplement, whatever you're taking, be more absorbable. So uh, it's a spice, you know, and there's so many benefits of different spices um, that, uh, you know, do some research on it. And um, I, I didn't know that. You know what? I, I'm going to go I'm going to go buy some right now and try it, you know, see if because my my blood thickness is right at that top level too so i'm gonna go get some and i'm gonna try it for my next blood work and uh see how it comes out and i do recommend yeah you can uh, with any of these when you're using some of these products get yourself a nice organic one to start with yeah bark 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 organic this that and everything just try it that way you can get a bulk package you know through like amazon for under twenty dollars and some of them are even less than that, but get something that's a real nice quality. I do caution you, look at the Scoville ratings. <laughs> Since I say that, I thought I found a better price for my peppers. And uh, I didn't realize that the one I had, the cayenne rating, the pepper rating was on the uh, uh, mid to lower range of the Scoville. And the last one I bought, which was the same product, it was just an adjusted one. It's twice as hot. That makes a difference when you're taking it. So pay attention to that. I try to stay around 45,000 on those units, not in the 70s and 75, because it can get pretty spicy. You really have to have the appetite for it when it gets that hot. Because if, if it's too hot for you, it can make you a little nauseous if you take it. So again, if you're not up to spices, then just buy, they, they actually sell them in capsules where they're encapsulated and it'll digest into your system and you won't have all those effects. But follow what it says on the dosage size for those capsules. It's nothing more than a spice. We're not telling you to go out and get a prescription or anything like that. Try it before you try prescriptions. Just give it a run. Yeah, that's great. And last thing I'll say, you know, is I, I was talking about black, different types of black pepper that they put in these different, but there's so many different spices that can benefit your health. So do some research on this different stuff. So, um, Brian, as always, thanks for being with us. Thanks for your input. Just call me the Cayenne Kid now, Steve. Thanks, everybody. All right. That's your, that's your new nickname. Talk to you later. All right.